A warm greeting. Today is Tuesday, July 1, 2025. This is meteorologist Ruben Garcia speaking. In this video, I will be giving an update on a low-pressure system that is expected to develop over water southeast of the United States and could find marginally favorable conditions for the formation of a tropical cyclone. In the month of June, Tropical Storm Andrea formed over the northern waters of the Atlantic Ocean. In addition, last week we had the formation of Tropical Storm Barry, which developed over the southern waters of the Gulf of Mexico and moved over areas of Veracruz and Tamaulipas. And the next name on the list of tropical storms would be Tropical Storm Chantal. So in this video I will discuss the latest projections from the global models and what effects are expected across the southeastern United States, mainly in the state of Florida. Briefly, I wanted to mention that what was Tropical Storm Flossie strengthened into a hurricane and is currently located south of Colima and Jalisco, but this tropical cyclone should continue a track away from the coast of Mexico. Let's then take a look at the infrared satellite animation over the southeastern region of the United States, where currently and to the east of Florida, we have a trough generating some showers over areas of the Bahamas, while we also have an area of disturbed weather over the southern Florida panhandle, and we also have a frontal system that is beginning to descend from the United States and will reach this area during the next five days. In this zone, ocean surface temperatures are warmer than normal, and this could help with the formation of a tropical cyclone. In fact, between the months of June and July, it is typical to see the formation of some tropical storms in these areas, and since yesterday the National Hurricane Center has maintained a 20% chance of tropical development over the waters of the northeastern Gulf of Mexico, or towards the south and southeast of Georgia and South Carolina. Let's now look at the latest runs of the global models. The American model in the latest run shows a low-pressure system developing during the weekend, but to the east and northeast of Florida, and in this latest run, it does not have significant development. However, in today's midnight run it did project the development of a tropical depression or tropical storm during the weekend to the east of the city of Jacksonville. In the case of the European model, for now it maintains a weak low-pressure system developing to the east of Florida and moving parallel to the coasts of Georgia and South Carolina also during the weekend, while the German model shows the development of a tropical depression or tropical storm very close to northeastern Florida and just east of the state of Georgia. This model projects that this low pressure could develop between Friday and Saturday. And we also have the UK model showing a low-pressure system developing over the weekend towards the southeast of South Carolina but it also has another low-pressure system developing to the west of Florida. Now let's look at the ensemble members of the American model. Some of them develop a low-pressure system, perhaps a tropical depression by the end of this week, either over the waters of the northeastern Gulf of Mexico or to the south and east of Georgia and South Carolina. We see the same with the ensemble members of the European model, although in this case the vast majority develop the low-pressure system to the east of Georgia and South Carolina. This also matches the ensemble members of Google's artificial intelligence model, which from Friday, Saturday and Sunday shows this area as where the possible development of a low-pressure system may occur, moving very slowly through the area during the weekend and early next week. So it is evident why the National Hurricane Center marks these two zones as areas of possible development. However, according to the model projections, it seems that the zone located to the east and northeast of Florida is the area where the highest probabilities of tropical development exist. For the moment, the good news is that no model develops a strong cyclone. In this case, they show perhaps a low pressure system, a tropical depression or a weak tropical storm, which should not cause major problems in the southeastern United States, although a significant increase in rainfall is expected from Wednesday through early next week. According to the latest projections from the European model, it is projected that starting Wednesday and Thursday, heavy rain may fall over the Florida Peninsula with rainfall totals expected to be between 2 to 4 inches. This is the rainfall projection over the next 5 days. In addition, the accumulated rainfall projection from the American model also agrees with rainfall totals between 1 to 5 inches over the next 5 days. So take this into consideration during this weekend and during the 4th of July celebration. Here at Hurricane Info I will continue to monitor the evolution of this forecast and will record other videos to keep you informed. And before I go, I want to invite you to like this video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel by clicking the red button and click the bell so you receive notifications when I record new videos. Well. I hope you all have an excellent day. So until next time.